I am Deborah Nichols, an architect here in the city of West Palm Beach. I am here on behalf of the American Institute of Architects Palm Beach chapter. We join the Florida Association of American Institutes of Architects in celebrating 100 years this year. We have announced the top 100 buildings in Florida and invite the public to vote for number one. The city of West Palm Beach has three buildings on the top 100 list. We take a tour of the three nominations here. We are here today at Payne Chapel, African Methodist Episcopal Church located in the historic northwest neighborhood of the city of West Palm Beach. Uh, we are here to celebrate its nomination into the top 100 buildings of Florida. This building is a local example of Gothic revival. It is a visual landmark in the historic uh, northwest neighborhood. It has been a center of, of religious, social, and humanitarian uh, activities in this community ever since it was built. A little background about the architect of this building. His name was Hazel Augustus. He was the area's first black architect. Uh, he designed many of the grand homes in this neighborhood. He was born in Florida. He moved to Palm Beach County early in the century, and he attended the University of Pennsylvania. He's also known for having designed three of the Boom Air's most distinguished enduring buildings. One would be this building, the Payne Chapel. The second would be the Helen Wilkes Hotel. And the third would be the Tabernacle Baptist Church, also located within this neighborhood. Mr. Augustus' career was cut short in 1926 when he died in an auto wreck, but his legacy lives on through buildings like these. We are here at the site of the 1957 Grace Episcopal Church located on North Australian in the city of West Palm Beach to celebrate its nomination to the top 100 buildings of Florida. Unfortunately, this building has been lost, but its contribution to Florida architecture remains. Tropical modern would be used to describe the style of the building. The vernacular design responds to site and climate. Uh, many of its features, such as 12-foot overhangs, uh, were a precursor to the sustainability movement prominent in architecture today. The architect was Robert Bradford Brown. He designed numerous tropical buildings. His main interests were the open wooden homes he built in Florida and the Caribbean. He was credited with developing the notion of tropical architecture, designs that in his word should breathe God's air, let in his light, and shade our eyes. here at Temple Bethel Synagogue located in North Flagler in the city of West Palm Beach to celebrate its nomination to the top 100 buildings uh, in Florida. The style of the building can be described as modernism embedded in local vernacular. Uh, the interior expression of the structure and the introduction of natural light speaks to the spiritual use of the space. And from the exterior the scale of the building is respectful of its location in a single-family residential neighborhood. Uh, the architect was Alfred Parker Browning. He was a noted Florida architect based in Miami. His work was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright. His work has been published in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, which helped establish him as a noted Florida architect. Mr. Parker passed in 2011, but having designed over 6,400 structures, he has established a foothold in Florida architecture. Join us in celebrating by voting online for your favorite. Voting is open to the public. You can vote for your favorites as often as you like at www.aiafla.top100.org. Voting ends on April 6th and the results will be announced mid-April. Florida Architecture, 100 years, 100 places. Join us in the celebration.